All right, this video is going to show you how to calibrate the fertilizer in your planter. For this operation, we are going to need a sail or better so buckets to place under each of the fruit hoppers to catch all the fertilizer. We also need a scale to weigh the fertilizer. It's important that we catch the fruit throughout the entire planter rather than just one or two hoppers. That way we get a better average and make sure we've got a uniform distribution throughout the planter and possibly identify any faults in independent units. To begin the process, we need to activate the planter by switching it on. We're going to page one of our settings, assuming that the correct products have been assigned to the correct hoppers. Um, hopper one will always be your seed, hopper two will be your solid fruit, and hopper three will either be your other fruit or your liquid fruit. So we select fertilizer under your product. Uh, underneath, we enter our target rate, i.e. how much fertilizer we're going to apply per hectare, in this instance 300 kgs. The speed shows you your working range. These values may change as we calibrate. On the right, we press the calibrating icon. This page, we have to enter our working speed at 7 k's an hour and our target rate at 300. Uh, the down arrow will show you your minimum and maximum working speeds. Um, by pressing the button of the wheel, it engages the motors and slightly turns the shaft to prime the fertilizer so we have an even and equal dis, um, dispense per hopper. We select up. At this stage we've got our buckets placed under each of the hoppers ready to catch the dispense fertilizer. We hit the play button. We now climb out the tractor and find this calibration button on the planter. To engage the motors we press and hold the calibration button to dispense the fruit into the buckets. There is no specific time limit that we want to measure off rather uh, just gauge it by the eye depending how big the buckets are. The more fertilizer we collect, the more accurate our calibration is going to be. Um, we then collect all the buckets and weigh the total amount using the scale. And then we enter the weight amount. So if we weighed 32, we'll see there's a deviation and a change in the working speeds. We then enter this calibration. So the objective is to repeat this process until our calculated value is as close as possible to our weighed value and once the deviation is minimal and it is within our working speed then we know our fertilizer is calibrated.